couple of things happening around the show, some of which ended up on the air, some of which didn't. On today's program, today being Wednesday, May 19th, you heard about the UC Regents plan to slash a half a billion dollars in administrative costs. Um, interesting story because $500 million is a huge amount to slash from things like budgeting, procurement, um, staffing, um, HR uh, procedures across the UC campuses. And it's also a big deal because student groups and faculty groups have been calling for the UC administration to make these cuts for years. In fact, when Pat and the rest of us were at the UC Regents meeting at UCLA in November, this is where the Regents voted for a 32% fee hike and tuition hike on the students. Clearly, students were not very happy about that. And the protests outside were really focusing around the need for the UC to make all kinds of budget cuts and slashing administration costs in particular well before they considered such a big tuition increase uh, to balance the budget on the backs of the students. At the time, when we were there, we were hearing from UC administration officials behind the scenes that these calls were completely unrealistic, that there was no fat to trim, that when they did see excesses in the budget, they would slash it. Um, but you know, there was no way they were going to be able to balance a huge deficit in the UC system on the backs of uh, all, strictly through administrative costs. And then sure enough, today, the next round of UC Regents meeting up in San Francisco, they announced a $500 million cut in administrative costs. Very, very interesting and a little behind the scenes. Uh, was setting up an interview today with the chief financial officer uh, of uh, the UC system who was on Pat's program and exchanging emails with the UC OP, UC Office of the President, to set this up. And in the email I mentioned, it seems like you heard the calls and the complaints of students and faculty to slash these, the, the administrative costs, exactly what they had been calling for for months and years even. And of course, the UC executive office vehemently denies that they're making these cuts because of suggestions from the students. They say this is all their own work.